Alright, so we're continuing um, my series of isopod care videos. Um, this go around, it's going to be Porcelio dilatatus, or the giant canyon isopod. Um, this is probably, um, if it's not my largest colony, it's one of my largest colonies. At least of like, full size isopods, like not counting dwarf isopods. Or Porcelio prunosus. Prunosus is probably the biggest colony. Um, but these guys are um, not uncommon in the hobby at, by any means, but just kind of um, oftentimes overlooked. They're uh, kind of similar to P. Scaber in their looks. Um, the only main difference is they're wider and they're not quite as bumpy looking. Um, they kind of come in a variety of shades, although mine is fairly uniformly gray. Um, I have seen some really cool reddish orangish looking ones, um, but most of them are gray. Um, they're not quite as vicious as Peacecaber. I'm going to do a video on Peacecaber um, coming up here pretty soon. Um, basically, it's kind of like a PSA for warning them for using them for bioactive enclosures and cleanup crews. Um, Peacecaber is extremely protein aggressive. They will eat live animals like small amphibians and lizards and stuff. They're like piranha. But these guys aren't quite, or aren't nearly as aggressive as those are. But they do like the protein. So I'll show you the whole enclosure. I'll take off the macro lens. Um, it's decent size. This is like a 32 quart tub or something like that. And believe it or not, I actually have another tub that's like 41 quarts, like a big long three foot tub, just full of these guys too. So it's kind of like, it's two cultures, but I kind of consider them one culture since it's just all the same isopod. But um, there is a buttload in here. Most of them uh, live under the soil or in the compost. This is mostly compost, um, just the, some stuff that I homemade, you know, from all of my uh, leftovers from cooking, you know, produce scraps and stuff like that. Um, by the way, you'll probably see a few uh, vulgar in here. There's a handful of vulgar in here. Um, just because I haven't felt like picking them all out. I'm not that big of a stickler. The vulgar aren't going to hurt anything in here. They're not going to out-compete these. Um, but yeah, what about these? So, um, the care is very similar to most isopods. Um, I have to add leaves in here. These guys shred through leaves. Like, this had, like, a coating of, like, an inch of leaves probably a month ago or so, maybe a little over a month. Um, I don't remember the last time I really took a really good look at this culture. But yeah, there's a buttload in here. They call them giant canyon isopods. They're really not that large of an isopod. They're wider than Peacecaber and maybe a little longer, but not by much, if at all. See, that one's a little bit more orangish than the other ones. That guy right in the center. Um, but, uh, yeah, very cool isopods. Um, for their calcium, um, they do really well, the crushed eggshell. So I don't really give them much cuddle bone. I, I'll probably give them cuddle bone at some point in the future. Um, but for right now, I don't bother. Um, like I said, you should have a variety of leaves. This is oak wood. See, there's a vulgar. If you're wondering what a vulgar looks like i haven't done a video on a vulgar just because they're so common but i'll probably do one later on anyways but um yeah um plenty of leaves give them calcium in the form of cuddle bone um these guys um they do like their protein they're not as aggressive as peace gaber but um buddy of mine gave me some uh, pac-man frog powder stuff it's supposed to be like a gel or something but i just tossed in the powder gave them like two or three tablespoons and it was gone after like maybe a half hour. Oh, there's a really pretty A vulgar in here. Hmm. Where are you? Or wait, are you Maculatum? What are you? No. No, you're Vulgar for sure. Very pretty A vulgar with some nice stripes. But, uh, yeah. Sorry, that sidetracked me. That's what these do. Wow, you're really pretty. 
Anyways, getting back to the Dilatatis. Um, I definitely recommend these. They're a good uh, bioactive cleanup crew for like a little bit drier of an enclosure. If you want something different and uh, something that's not going to be as aggressive as, say, a Porcelio Scaber. Uh, something like that. My cat's going to say hi. Um, yeah, we're on my porch. And my cats like to hang out on my porch. It's enclosed. and They can walk watch cars and the birds and stuff um, and watch me film the isopods they bother me a lot while I film the isopods um, but yeah so this series is going to continue um, this is probably going to be it for this week I've uploaded like four or five just in the last five days like four or five days and um, I don't want to burn myself out or not necessarily burn myself out but like I don't want to make all of them all at once and then have whoa and then have nothing to uh that'll never happen i have tons and i'm always getting new stuff but you know what i mean like no no sense in putting them out all at once i should space them out um but if there's any species that anybody really wants a care video done on right now um go ahead and ask and i will see if i can do it within a somewhat reasonable amount of time um oh ventilation for these guys i forgot to mention ventilation um give a good amount of it um, these guys like it more on the dry side. Um, the substrate's a little damp right now because I missed it yesterday, but, um, yeah. Um, sorry, this video was a little bit all over the place as far as content goes. Um, but these are just a really simple species. Great to have around. Very prolific and rewarding to keep. Um, you get a pew and you'll have tons. There's thousands in here because um, they live under like the first few centimeters of the substrate this is like all all of this like this is it's almost like half of it isn't even substrate half of it is just like dilatatus just everywhere in here but yeah so uh like comment share subscribe and um i'll see if i can't make some more videos for you guys so yeah peace out have a good night all that stuff. Oh, and um, check out my uh, page on Facebook, U.S. Invertebrate Auctions. It's where we auction off isopods like these. Um, we auction off all kinds of invertebrates. Um, besides isopods, I do roaches, um, tarantulas, scorpions, uh, millipedes. Um, but there's all kinds of sellers on there that offer all kinds of invertebrates. Um, honestly, I love those guys. Um, the other guys that I admin the page with. And um, our sellers, our sellers are some of the best people in the country. Um, get some of the best isopods and roaches and scorpion species on the planet. Um, we get fresh stuff that's just imported. Like you'll see my care video that I did a couple days ago on the blonde rubber duckies. Those are a new species in the hobby um, that I just got. But uh, yeah, check out U.S. Invertebrate Auctions. And um, also, I'll be at the Reptile Expo, the NorCal Expo in uh san mateo on november 10th and 11th um coming up in a couple months if you want to maybe meet me and get some isopods or whatnot i'll be vending i'll have a table my company's called cycloptic exotics and uh we'll have some cool stuff for you so come on out and uh, i'll make sure to give you guys a good deal have a good night guys